Hi, my name's Sky. And I'm Elena. And this is our Intertidal Zone podcast. This is a picture of the intertidal zone. This region is made up of four zones, with the, which are the spray zone, the high intertidal zone, the mid intertidal zone, and the lower intertidal zone. The spray zone is the uppermost area where the terrestrial ecosystem meets the marine world. Lichens live in the spray zone along most rocky shores. Lichens are actually two organisms living together in a relationship known as symbiosis. These two organisms are fungus and algae. The fungus composes the outside of the plant with a thick covering which protects the lichen from environmental extremes. The fungus also has the ability to absorb up to 35 times its weight in water, allowing precious water to be stored for use at a later time. Filaments from the fungus anchor the organism to the rock surface. The algal cells live within the fungus. The algae produces food photosynthetically, feeding both itself and the fungus. As the spray zone reaches toward the water, it overlaps with the high intertidal zone. The high intertidal zone is covered by water only briefly during the highest tides. Barnacles is a name for animals in the subclass of crustaceans and are located in the high intertidal zone. When barnacles are still larvae, they float around in the water. When they become mature, they will attach to things like rocks, bottoms of, bottoms of boats, and shellfish. Acorn, acorn barnacles are most likely found in temperate and cold salt water. They like to attach to hard surfaces. Acorn barnacles eat plankton by sucking in the water around them while closing their teeth and opening their mouth. Then, then they lick all the plankton that got stuck into their teeth. The acorn barnacle is usually three to four inches across. As we approach the mid-intertidal zone, we begin to see an increase in the diversity and abundance of organisms. This zone is defined as the area between the average high tide and low tide lines on the shore. The mid-intertidal zone and its upper limit is easily recognized by its dominant organism like barnacle. Sea urchins are found in the mid-intertidal zone. This zone contains organisms that are also more complex and often larger in size than those found in the high tide and splash zones. Organisms in this area include barnacles, crabs, green algae, mussels, snails, and sponges. The rock pools in this zone provide a habitat for sea urchins and other organisms such as small fish, shrimps, and zooplankton. Turban snails are also found in the mid-intertidal zone, where these snails graze on algae, microscopic films, and rack. Small juveniles are found mostly under rocks and among coarse sands. These snails may live as long as 20 or 30 years. When fleeing a predator, on a sloping substrate, the snail may simply de detach itself and thus it will roll or drop away. In the low intertidal zone, algae dominates this zone. Zonation patterns of, patterns of algae are governed by exposure to the tide and wave impact, as well as species by interactions such as grazing by invertebrates and competition for space and light. The low intertidal zone is only exposed to air at the lowest of low tides and is primarily marine in character. Red algae is found in the low intertidal zone and are red because of the presence of the pigment physoerythrin. This pigment reflects red light and absorbs blue light. Because blue light penetrates water to a greater depth than light of longer wavelengths, these pigments allow red algae to photosynthesize and live at somewhat greater depths than most other algae. Red algae can live at tremendous depths typically, and they, are typically, uh, they typically live attached to surfaces. One of their use, uh, one of the uses of red algae is for nori, which is the Japanese name for, uh, which is used for wrapping sushi, rice crackers, and you know putting as a topping on rice and stuff. The Dungeness crab inhabits eel grass beds and muddy to sandy bottoms, from the low intertidal zone to depths in excess of 600 feet. They can be found on the Aleutian Islands in Alaska to south of San Francisco. The Dungeness crab eats a wide variety of marine forms. Stomachs of ocean crabs have been found to contain clams, fish, and crabs as well as other items including starfish, worms, and squid. The Dungeness crab is also eaten by quite a few creatures, including fish such as dogfish, halibut, lingcod, and wolf eel. The crab is also a favorite food of the octopus and, of course, the human. So, in conclusion, a wide variety, variety of organisms lives in the intertidal zone. Where they are specifically in the zone depends on their, you know, specific adaptations and uh, ways of living. I hope you enjoyed our podcast. Catch you next time.